Hi hey everybody, it's Nikki and I'm here to do a quick video because um, my blood sugar is now ripe and ready for some exercise. Um, but I've got on my Libre, I've got on my Dexcom, I've got on my Guardian. Um, my Dexcom I believe is on day six right now, I think it's day six. Um, I just started up a brand new Guardian this morning um, and my Libre is on day four. So I wanted to, today's Saturday and I wanted to take the opportunity to try to compare some numbers. Um, and really I am very interested in the lag. Um, so I wanted to try to catch it during a rebound to see how everything held up. And it was all the confirmation I needed, not that I, not that I was doing it for this purpose, but all the confirmation I needed that um, to, to prove to me that the Guardian is so stinking slow, um, it's not an accuracy issue, although it would appear that, um, it's not an accuracy issue, it just can't keep up. And as long as I have a pump delivering me insulin or withholding insulin based on those numbers, it's good for, in my case, it's gonna be a train wreck. Um, my Dexcom was much better, uh, than, much better than the Guardian, and I think I'm very interested to see how the T-Slim does with it. Um, it's a faster number, so hopefully that will be okay, and hopefully with those less rigid suspends than what, what's in manual mode on the 670, hopefully that will be fine. Um, the Libre was a young buck, is what it was. It was fast, and it covered everything. And I didn't know this, but every single swipe revealed a new value. Um, whereas the Dexcom and Guardian are both on a five minute you know, uh, schedule, the, the Libre, every, every swipe gives you a new value. So that was really pretty cool information. Um, okay, so at 342, and here are, here's my rebound, here's how my Dexcom, Guardian, and Libre held up during a rebound. And this is in comparison to my, my Walmart Rely On meter. It is my favorite meter. Um, and I've tested that up against lab draws and it's done really, really well. So I really trust, trust this meter. Um, uh, 342, I had a salad and coffee, which I say I was eating it at that point, finishing up, um, which is a gross combination. <laughs> but anyway, I was low and I needed to have those things apparently. So I did. Um, okay, so, so I started testing at 402. Um, my actual blood sugar was a 77, my Dexcom read 49, Guardian 43, and Libre 50. So that was kind of my starting point, even though I probably could have caught it a few minutes before that. That 77 implies I was already on the move. Um, okay, at 403, um, my Dexcom moved up to a 58, and my Libre up to a 55. My Guardian only moved up two points. Um, at 406, um, so this was four minutes after I started testing. My, my rely on meter showed a 96. So at this point, four minutes later, four minutes into it, my blood sugar is back to normal again. Um, any pump that's either delivering or withholding or whatever insulin based on this, at this point, I should be back getting what I needed again. Um, at this point, my Dexcom still showed a 58 with an angled arrow down. Um, my Guardian was still showing a 45 and my Libre was a 62. Um, at 4.11, my blood sugar, according to my meter, was a 118. My Dexcom was now a 73, 73 angled arrow up. Um, my Guardian had moved up to a 50, and my Libre was an 81. Um, here we go. At 4.12, my Libre was the first one to show that I was back in normal range again at a 94 with one arrow up. Um, my Dexcom showed a 73 angled arrow up and 50 for the, for the Guardian. At 4.13, so this is now 11 minutes after I started the testing, my Dexcom picked up that I was back at normal range again. It was a 90 angled arrow up. My Guardian was still at a 50. Um, and my Libre was at a 103 with one arrow up. So that Libre is like pretty impressive. Um, you know, I have different problems with the Libre, but, but this was impressive to see it through the rebound. Um, so at 4.13, which is 11 minutes later is when my Dexcom showed that I was back to normal blood sugar. Um, I'll fast forward a little bit. At 416, my blood sugar was a 136. Um, my Dexcom still showed a 90 angled arrow up. My Libre showed a 115 arrow up um, and my Guardian had moved up to a 61. And then fast forward all the way to 422. Now 20 minutes afterwards, my blood sugar was a 159 my Dexcom showed a 110, one arrow up. My Libre showed a 130, one arrow up. And my Guardian was at a 75, um, no arrows. Um, 
Okay, so then at 427, I had a blood sugar of 163. My Dexcom showed 129, two arrows up. Um, Libre 150, one arrow up. And my Guardian was at an 85 with one arrow up. And then at 432, so now this is 30 minutes after I started the testing, my actual blood sugar was a 181. My Guardian, I'm sorry, my Dexcom showed a 149, two arrows up. My Libre showed a 167, one arrow up, and my Guardian was at a 94 with one arrow up. Um, 4.45, and at this point I'm ready to call it a, you know, call it a day, call it a test. Um, my blood sugar had finally started to come back around again. It was back to a 170. My Dexcom showed a 171, one arrow up. My Libre showed a 182, one arrow up. My Libre always goes too high, um, but regardless, and my Guardian landed at a 113. Um, I think that had I checked it, well, I'll check it right now. Okay, so there, I was thinking by now it would have caught up, but at 4.52 p.m., 4.53, it's still a 117. And I don't know if you can see that. 169 with an angled arrow up for my Dexcom and my Libre, which is probably gonna be way too high. No, not, it's a 180. So I guess I'll test and actually see which one is right. But um, the shame is the Guardian is the only one right now for me that would have any kind of say in what kind of insulin I got. And that one is the furthest one off. Um, and that is, and this is day one of my sensor. And that's, for me, that's standard days one through seven um, performance with the Guardian. So you know, I'll see what the final thing came in at. And I should be falling now, hopefully. 179, so not exactly falling. So 179, time for me to go exercise. Um, Libre and Dexcom looked good, held together. I like the idea of Dexcom being in charge of turning back on my insulin, if that's what it's going to do, um, because it was a couple minutes behind. Whereas, and I should say this really quick, the Guardian didn't show me back at a normal blood sugar until 4.31 p.m., which was 29 minutes, right? 30 minutes, yep, 29 minutes after, which would have meant that had I been suspended in even manual mode and it hadn't resolved itself within that 30 minutes, it's possible that would have locked me in in manual mode for another two hours. And in auto mode, I mean, it may have just given me this really crappy insulin delivery for, you know, another half hour after that or whatever. And it really, for me, it spun me out. So this is just a comparison and a kind of why I'm looking forward to the T-Slim and looking forward to Medtronic getting their stuff together and getting their Guardian on track. But anyway, that's it. Off to exercise. Thanks for watching. Bye.